Hey what's up everyone, welcome to FX Maniac again, this is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and welcome to another really cool tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to create these awesome water drops uh, using Typhlo in 3D Studio Max, so it's basically like a water condensation effect. Uh, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to do this one, static, and I have another image of it, um, which, which is here, so it's like a close-up shot. But I think this one looks a little bit more beautiful because it's got these random sort of patterns. So I will show you guys how to use, how to create them. Uh, it's a very, it's going to be a very quick tutorial. So in this first part, I'll show you how to create the static, and in the next tutorial, I'll probably show you guys how to get the uh, the animated sort of condensation one. So all right. So before we get into this tutorial, I just want to give you guys a quick little stat of my watch time from my subscribers. So uh, basically, uh, it is saying that 86.1% um, of you guys watching this tutorial have not subscribed and only 14% of the people that are actually watching this tutorial is actually subscribed to my channel. So there's a good chance that you whom is watching the tutorial right now is not subscribed to my channel and uh, you are on the 86% that haven't subscribed. So uh, I just want to tell you guys that if you find this information and these tutorials useful, it would mean a lot to me if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell icon to get notified and like the videos so that it will be uh, kind of reached to a lot of more people. So let's get to the tutorial. Uh, let's just get started with this. So I have this model set up here. So I'm just going to show you guys the tie flow part first and then I'll show you how to set up the lighting and everything. All right. So I'm just going to the tie flow and uh, just uh, open the flow. So it's a very, very simple setup. So I have, um, I'm just, let me, let me just show you guys from the beginning. So I'll just add it like a birth operator. So birth and it's going to be from zero to zero because I want them to be static. And if I hit F4, so we can see the wireframe. So I want the particles to be static, but I want them to be on an object. So just add a position object operator and select. Uh, you can select a couple of objects here and just, you know, the objects that you want the uh, water particles to be on and this one just add select it and I'm going to change this to volume because I want them to be on both sides of the object and uh, if I go ahead now we we see these particles but they're a little too less so I can go ahead and maybe like 2000 so now we have a few more and we need to give them a shape so I'm just gonna add a shape operator and just go into the type and set it to geosphere we can do low res but in this case because we're doing close-up shots so I'll set it to mid res for a good measure and then just add a scale operator in order to give them some randomness so right now we can't really see them because it's set to small dots so what I'm going to do is go into geometry and now we can see them so now I'm going to go into the scale just put it down the shape and make it like what 60% or maybe 35 with a 50% variation and make sure it is uniform so now we got these uh, particles uh, and uh, in order to now they're like too perfect right so in nature it doesn't really happen that way and even if we go into our last VB we can see that they are not just like perfect so they're kind of like combining together in a very natural and organic way so what I'm going to do is going to um, uh, you I'm going to be using a time measure so uh, I've created a time measure here so I do have it somewhere so I'm just gonna hit H and select tie measure so I've basically went and added my object so just uh, delete this so I'm just gonna show you guys from scratch so just delete this and I'm going to go into the create panel, go to tie flow, and here it is time measure. So just drag it out there and we're going to select our tie flow. So now you can see that it's created our, uh, our, um, it's created our tie flow particles as mesh, but they're like too big. So you can go into the blob mesh uh, radius, turn down the absolute. So now you can see that we have some, uh, 
some objects but they're uh, really low quality so what we can do is go into the voxel size which is kind of like the, the the voxel grid in like uh, Phoenix FD so the lower the value the more quality you're gonna have but don't go like too low so just going to turn this shape down until we get something that is looking natural so just like go little by little maybe a little bit more and then turn the voxel size just down just like that or maybe the size also so point two I think that is a really nice result so for now I'm just gonna go into tie flow and uh, just turn off display so that we don't see the tie flow particles and now I'm going to show you guys how to set up the lighting and before we do that if you hit F4 you can see that they're pretty low quality uh, low poly so you can add a turbo smooth to make him smoother so you can even add like two levels but I think in this case it is fine and the other thing that I'm going to do is show you guys how to set up the lighting first I'm gonna create a water material so I'll be using V-Ray so I'm gonna hit M and I've already created a water material but I'm just going to show you guys again just for the sake of the tutorial so I'll just drag a V-Ray material out double click and go into diffuse and make sure to set it to black we'll give it some reflection alright so once you give it some reflection make sure to give it some glossiness to like 0.97 and um, uh, we want to make sure to give it a hundred percent refraction because this is water and needs to be transparent and the most important thing here is the IOR or the index of refractions so you can set it to uh, 1.33 which is standard for water and you can increase the depth, the max depth, which will basically increase the quality of reflections and refractions. So just uh, select the time measure and apply this material to it. And the next thing I did was I went ahead and added a texture to uh, the environment. So the way I did it is I hit M and I just go and search the V-Ray bitmap, uh, which is basically, um, you know, if you're using an older version of V-Ray, it might be called V-Ray HDRI, but in V-Ray 5, I think it's called V-Ray Bitmap, so you can just drag that one out and just select a location and click on it and select your uh, HDRI map, which in this case is this one. Just open and go make sure it is a spherical one. And you can you can go ahead and set this up as your environment, which I already have. Just drag it to the environment instance and drag it into the render setup into the V-Ray environment also. So just uh, go into the V-Ray tab and go to V-Ray environment and set it as a V-Ray environment reflection and refraction too. So just drag this out and put it there and make sure it is an instance so just just like that and then you're gonna see this uh, environment in your viewport and the next thing I did was I added two lights from the side and it is uh, with 10 multiplier and make sure they are invisible and if I go and I've created a camera so camera 2 and I've set um, if I select my camera so the physical camera 2 I've set the uh, I've enabled the motion blur and used a custom focus distance of 15 in order to get this result so that is basically it it is a very simple setup but it, it looks very uh, natural and organic so you can try it on different objects so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and um, uh, stay tuned for the next one I'll be showing you guys how to create the animated version and dy the dynamic version so until then, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. And uh, make sure to support us on our second channel, our music channel. The music used in this video is actually this one, the party one, which I really like. So you can, you can go ahead and check it out. And also make sure to follow me on my Instagram page. So it is called Effects with Sayed. And uh, until the next video, Enjoy working.